Hey everybody, Ellie here with the Nature Reflections channel. I will be changing the name back to Nature Reflections from Freedom Flower. Um, this was something I started many years ago, like in 2012. And anyway, I've um, been going back and forth on the names. And in today's video, I want to talk about um, the benefits of meditation, what I have felt from this first week of the January daily meditation challenge. Um, years ago, uh, when I was living at the monastery, we meditated every single day, starting about an hour before sunrise. So the actual timing would change depending on the, the day and the season, but it would always be an hour, be hour before sunrise. So we would begin our meditation when it was dark, which uh, has a lot of benefits. And, um, you know, it was a consistent daily practice. There were no days off. Uh, there were certain days where we would skip our noon or evening meditation due to work. But generally, we, we stopped what we were doing and went and did a seated meditation. But no matter what, we always did the morning meditation and that has stuck with me because I find that if I'm trying to have a consistent meditation schedule uh, practice, morning right after waking up is really the only way that I can guarantee that I'm going to do it. You know, there have been times where I said, you know, I've gotten up later than I wanted to and just had a lot of stuff to do that day and I said, okay, I'll meditate, you know, after I do this thing, and then there's another thing, and then it just keeps getting pushed off. So by making it the first thing that I do when I wake up, it ensures that I actually do it. Um, so I, although I've been meditating daily um, for years now, it has not been consistent in terms of the time and the length. So what I'm doing now in January 2023 um, is that I am doing it at the same time every day, 6 a.m. Eastern time, uh, for 20 minutes. So the same length every single day, not one minute, five minutes, 10 minutes, 20 minutes. And I was using an app called Oak, which has been great. And you can set the time for like 5, 10, 15, 20 minutes, but it was... I, would, I just wasn't being consistent. So just a week in, I feel so much better. I mean, you'll probably notice that my energy is higher than a week ago when I did the short video introducing myself and telling you about this challenge. Um, already, I have felt more mental clarity, just more clarity in my life in general. And I think a lot of this has to do with the actual meditation practice itself, but also the benefits of being in a consistent routine. And I'm also going to share with you some practices that I do before and after the meditation that have helped me a lot. Um, so I had posted on Facebook, I had taken a break from Facebook and, and went back on there to post about this meditation challenge that I'm doing going live on YouTube every morning at 6 a.m. Eastern for 20 minutes. I really hope that people will join me because I think not only is it a good way to hold ourselves accountable and by getting into this um, consistent practice, we'll create a habit. But also, I just think the energy of having like a bunch of people meditating at the same time, tuning in. Uh, I think that could be really powerful. Um, and so anyway, somebody that I know commented on my post saying that 6 a.m. is a, a bit early for her. And actually somebody else said that the same thing. And you know what? It's early for me too. Because I had stopped waking up with a, an alarm and I would sleep later like until, you know, 7 or 7.30 um, or even later sometimes. Uh, I had I 
was dealing with um, just a lack of consistency. Anyway, but I love mornings. Years ago, I would wake up early, meditate, and and use that, have like a slow wake up and time in the morning to do things like journal and read. And um, um, so I find that it is starting to become a habit where it's easier to wake up in the mornings. It's not like, oh, I'm gonna get up like the fir- so on um, January first. I I woke up and I stayed up, but then on the second I had a ba- I had a weird night on um, January first. A friend came by and I ended up eating late and going to bed late, and I was just out of my normal routine because usually I cut off any eating at like seven p.m. or something or eight latest. So anyway, you know, it was a traveler, old friend passing through and I wanted to be welcoming, but it messed up my routine. And so I still got up and and did the meditation at 6 a.m., but then I went back to sleep. And and so what I've been doing now that has been helping a lot is before the meditation, I wake up about 15 minutes beforehand to prepare uh, I do the tongue scraping. I have a metal copper tongue scraper, and that is always the first thing I do in the morning uh, after I pee is scrape my tongue and it gets it removes a lot of toxins and um, rinse my mouth out with water. And I've been oil pulling as well with um, a blend an Ayurvedic oil and herbal blend. So I've started doing that before the meditation for about 10 to 15 minutes. And I've done oil pulling in the past, but the problem with me is that I would try to get into the habit of doing it, but it would be after meditation. And usually once I'm up after meditation, then I'm ready for hydration, you know, warm water with lemon, tea, coffee, juice, whatever. And I find it's best to do the oil pulling before any of that hydration. So the only way that I can actually get myself to do it consistently is before the meditation. And I used to think, oh, I have to do it for 20 minutes for it to be most effective. So I've let go of that idea and said, you know what, 10 minutes is perfect. It's enough. And with oil pulling, I do find that it gives me more mental clarity. Um, I'll put a link. I, I'm not um, like sponsored or anything, but there's a brand I really like, and they have a cinnamon flavored oil pulling product. And then the next thing that I started doing after the meditation is uh, 10 sun salutations, which are also called Surya Namaskar in in yoga. Um, I used to do yoga every day. I did a yoga teacher training. It is, you know, there's a ton of benefits for mind, body, spirit. But I fell off my practice. And, you know, the thing about sun salutations is um, it's basically a whole body workout. It stretches your whole body. And even just doing 10 every day can make such a big difference. Um, I noticed a difference right away. Like the first day I got back into it, my posture was better. My back and heart felt more open. I had more um, strength in my core. And so for the, um, the past few mornings that I've been doing it, I noticed more energy. So even though I'm tired when I wake up at six, I have committed to doing this daily meditation challenge. And then it's becoming a habit where I'm doing the sun salutations afterwards. And they're actually giving me energy. So I don't have that desire to go back to sleep. And then I've gotten into uh, another routine of drinking warm water with a lemon in the morning and that is alkalizing and it helps to also encourage um, removal of waste and um, detoxify the body. Because the more you encourage your body to detoxify, remove you know, toxins and the bad stuff, 
the better you're going to feel. So that's been my other practice is doing that. And there is a um, scientist, Dr. Andrew Huberman, who I really enjoy um, learning from. I think he's like a, a neuroscientist and professor at Stanford, and he has a great podcast. And he talks about if you drink coffee, waiting to drink your first cup of coffee until after you've already been up for 90 minutes. So, and that will decrease that afternoon crash. Cause I was having like major, major afternoon crashes, like just, you know, exhausted. And then sometimes I'll take a nap. Um, so I've been doing that. And even though like, I really want to like drink something in the morning, I'll, I'll do the warm water with lemon. So usually like one or two cups where I will um, take a, a quarter piece of a lemon, squeeze it into a, a mug, fill the mug about 75% with uh, room temperature water for my Berkey filter, and then the rest with hot water. And that works great. You don't want it to be too hot or too cold. Um, and I've also gotten this great journal, which actually has like little pictures of cups and it has water and caffeine so you can very easily track uh, how much you're drinking so that's been really helpful i can just like circle a cup every time i drink some water and then the other good habit i've gotten back into is juicing um, that has been just something i've done throughout my life like the past or throughout my life as i've been working on health so not when I was younger or anything, but when I became an adult, basically, I got into meditation about 20 years ago. So, and at that time, I also started to do juicing, fasting, um, changed my whole diet and lifestyle. But anyway, juicing, I've been juicing every day this year so far, and it's been great. Um, I wish, I, you know, it's, it's winter here, so unfortunately, I can't get a lot of local fresh produce to juice with, but I've been doing celery. That's been awesome. I mean, celery juice has a ton of benefits. And then I've been adding orange as well. So like one orange mixed with the celery and that's been great. And it just, it helps hydrate and nourish the body. So those are, you know, some things I would recommend is oil pulling before the meditation, meditating, um, it's best if you do it at the same time every day and for the same length every day. Commit to 20 minutes if you can, but even if you only have two minutes, that's fine. The, the, the benefit comes from actually doing the practice consistently. You know, even if you sit down, I have like a very short meditation on my channel that's like one minute and 22 seconds or something like that. And it's something that I've done when I felt rushed and I didn't have time to do like a 10 or 20 minute meditation practice. And just the act of sitting down, closing my eyes, focusing on a few breaths, I find that to be extremely beneficial. And the more that you say you're going to do things and actually do them, it's creating trust in yourself you stop abandoning yourself and it's just this beautiful process of of uh, developing that self-trust and self-responsibility and and just knowing that you are capable of doing what you say you're going to do and, and not abandoning yourself so writing things down in a journal i yeah i'm finding like having a really good planner and journal like this one that i have goes down to the hour of every day so I try to fill it up now. Um, and, you know, the thing is also when you do things consistently, they'll become habits. And what I think of meditation, it's like mental hygiene. So like, for instance, for years, I didn't floss. You know, I brush my teeth every day, twice a day. But in 2020, I started flossing every night. And even though I hate it, it's just fucking something I just really dislike doing the thought of not doing it is worse than the thought of actually doing it and i know that i'll feel 
much better, you know, after I do it. And it's not even that I even feel that much better. It's that I know I'll feel worse if I don't. And it something will be missing if I don't do it. So, you know, meditation, it's, it's like, should be part of your, you know, hygiene <laughs> practice. Um, but yeah, I think that is all that I wanted to talk about today. Um, these are just things that I've noticed helping. And then also um, reading books before bed and avoiding screens for like an hour or two before bedtime whenever possible. So I hope this was helpful for you. Um, please comment down below if you have any questions or you know comments or anything. Make sure to click the thumbs up and um, subscribe to my channel um, if you find value in this. I really want to share more and help encourage people to live a more healthy um, life and and create a better life, you know, for for yourself. So thanks so much for watching. Bye.